Welcome to my channel. My name is Steve Luchon. A while back, you may remember, I posted a video where I assembled my Dive Right Optima CM. It's a chest mounted rebreather. I was asked if I could do a similar video, but where I take it apart and clean it at the end of a dive. So that's what I intend to do today. All right, let's get started. This video is intended for those that are already certified on one of the Dive Right Optima rebreathers. If you'd like to get more information about training, please visit one of three websites, diveright.com, yippieexpeditions.com, or you can visit us online at gilboaquarry.com. We're an authorized training and support center, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Some things you're gonna want for this, have your towel ready. After diving for four hours in cold water like I do, there tends to be some moisture that builds up in the water trap, a little bit in the head, and quite a bit in the counter lungs. So comment below, am I the only one that's a wet breather? I guess we'll see. You're also gonna to wanna to have some fresh water. I use distilled water and it's warm. I keep it in this jug here. I have my Sterimine tablets already dissolved in this little bottle of water. And I have my cleaning caps ready to go that came with the unit from Dive Right. I also have Tri-Lube 71 that I like to apply on, on all of the O-rings after I break it apart and before I put it back together. All right, let's get going. At this time, we'll disconnect the O2 bottle. We'll unstrap it and we'll take off the first stage from the DIN. Next, we'll slide the O2 bottle out and just set it aside. Next, we will unclip the canister and disconnect the wires from the batteries. We'll take the batteries out of their holders and we'll just kind of stuff them down in there just so they're out of the way. And we're going to disconnect the Y block from the head. Now I use a dental pick because I have an O-ring Instead of using the safety spacer that Dive Right recommends, um, I was actually shown this by somebody and it works a lot better. Now I'll just take the Y block off, disconnect everything, and set it aside. Get rid of that dental pick just so I don't poke a hole in my counter lungs. Okay, now we are going to disconnect the canister from the counter lungs. You want to be really careful when you're doing this. After you disconnect it, make sure you don't put it upright. You don't want it to be vertical. Just leave it like that, spin it, but do not set it on the head or on the water trap. We don't want water running into the head. All right, now I'm going to take the nerd or my controller and I'm going to pull that wire out of the bag and also take it off of the hoses there. Just wrap that up and set it aside. By the way, you might have a different way that you do this. Comment below. Maybe you can teach me something a little bit better, more efficient. This is just the way that I've done it. Now we're going to take the HUD and slide it out just like we did the NERD. Again, wrap it up and set it aside. All right, you wanna take the water trap tubes out. I like to put my thumb inside and just kinda of pull it out. It works really easy. Okay, we are going to take the head apart and remove the water trap. So you're gonna to wanna to just pull and turn 
and then you'll feel it kind of click and notice the moisture inside there. Not very much, maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And you'll notice a little bit of water beating inside the head, but nothing bad at all. Not too bad for four hours of diving in the cold. All right, now we're going to disconnect the loop. Just pull the hoses off. You want to make sure that you put tri lube on everything before you put it all back together. We'll set that aside. Sometimes I like to just dump out any water that's in there. In this case, there really wasn't any. And really, it's not water, it's moisture from our breath. And you'll notice now when I dump this, there is a little bit of moisture coming from the exhale side, not really anything coming from the inhale. All right, we're ready to move on to the next part. All right, I like to take a little bin and I set the water trap and the water trap tubes inside of it. And then I'll take my caps and I'll just cap off the top part of the bag. Next, I'll take my bottle of cleaner and I will pour a little less than half inside each part of the count along. And this is concentrated. And then I will pour the rest inside there. You'll see why in a moment. Now it's time to fill the counter lungs with the distilled water. And this is pretty warm. Try not to make a mess all over my wife's table there. Fill it up pretty good. Do the same to the other side. It's probably a good idea to make sure that the OPV is closed all the way and make sure you don't accidentally bump it with your hand because water will come out. There we go. So I'm going to take the larger caps now and I'm going to cap those off. I like to shake it around a little bit, kind of flip it, make sure it just touches all the inside of the bag of the counter along. And then you're going to want to leave that for quite a few minutes. Just let it do its thing. You'll notice I have this other jug of water and I'm going to pour the remaining inside there to disconnect all the other parts. And I'm not going to waste any of this stuff, you'll see. Just let it sit in there. Now I'm going to disconnect my DSV and my loop hoses. I want to get them pretty submerged. And I have a, another way of doing that. You'll see the leftover 
from the counter lungs, I will pour into there as well after it sits for a couple minutes. I'll set everything in there including the DSV. All right, now that that sat for a while, we are going to take the caps off from the bottom, not the top, and we'll just pour the contents inside there, completely submerging everything else. Give it a good shake. Set that aside for a moment. Now we'll pull everything out and we'll just kind of let it just sit there. It is very important that you clean your rebreather after use. There you have it. Everything's hanging up, drying, ready for the next dive. If you didn't watch that first video where I built the Optima CM, here it is. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, dive safe, and I'll see you in the water.